Today we are going to make a tier list video. As you guys can see down here, we have PSA 10s of a lot of uh, the new chase cards um, from newer sets. We got some Scarlet Violet in here, uh, even got some Sun and Moon, but mainly Sword and Shield. So what we're going to do is we're going to rank these kind of based off of collectability, artwork, price, investing, kind of based off of everything. I'm just going to give it my best go. Uh, I haven't done a video like this before, so this should be fun. Um, first off, we got the Machamp here. Um, ooh, okay, Astral Radiance, PSA 10. I actually think this is kind of an underrated card. We might have to move some of these around. Um, I'm going to start. I might be controversial. I'm going to put Machamp in B tier. We can come back to that. Um, then we got the Roaring Moon. Ooh. Um, Roaring Moon. Let's see. Um, ooh. I want to say he's B tier as well, but we're going to put him in C tier for now. We can, we can come back and readjust. Sleepy Tyranitar. Um, from Battle Styles. I actually think this is a really good card. Great artwork. Pretty undervalued. Ooh. Ooh, we're gonna put him in B. I'm gonna put him in B because I feel like his price is low. I feel like this is a cool card. So, I mean, kind of what they've been going for. I don't know. You guys, let me know. You guys, let me know in the comments how I'm doing here. All right, this one. E. Okay, Giratina, Giratina, Giratina. A. Definitely A. S. S tier, in my opinion. Giratina's Giratina's S tier artwork, underrated, undervalued. I think when Lost Origin goes out of, of stock in the Pokemon Center, boom. Um, I think I think that this artwork is amazing. Um, we got quite a few Charizards on here. Here's the first one. Um, let's take a look. Uh, ooh. Um, man, I mean Charizard heavy. Charizard fatigue can be a thing. Um, he's definitely he's not S, not S tier. I don't think. Let me know if you guys agree with this. A tier. I I love this artwork, man. I think just even the price you can get this at still in a 10. Oh, I mean, absolutely stunning. Now, this Blaziken is extremely difficult to pull. I like the art. I think the artwork's okay. Um, ooh, it's definitely not S tier for me. The artwork's okay. It's good. No, it's not okay. It's good. It's just, I don't love it. I don't love it. it. Might be controversial. I might put, I'm putting in B tier. Don't kill me, guys. Um, all right, next up, we got the Lugia. I really like this Lugia. Um, definitely not D tier. Um, at least B. Definitely, he's probably not S tier. A, ooh. I'm going A tier on Lugia, honestly. Same kind of thing with Lost Origin. Like, Silver Tempest is going to sell out. So, like, artwork. I love this artwork. Absolutely. Some people don't like it, but... And the kind of the current price it's been going for... Yeah, that's A tier for me. Now, this one... Scarlet and Violet D tier. I mean, the artwork's good, but... It's, uh, yeah, you guys know. I don't need to say anything more about that. Um, now the big dog, the Moonbrion, the Moonbrion. Let's see. Obviously, we're going to go A or S here, right? I mean, come on. It's S tier. It's S tier. I think this card, this card by popularity alone is S tier with so many graded. There's over 10,000 PSA 10s, which is insane. And the pri I, I think this card is just going to just continue to go up and to the right. Um, all right. So now this Magikarp. Now this is a hot take, but I'm going to do it. I'm really going to do it. This Magikarp is S tier, honestly, with how little of PSA 10s there are. Plus, I'm a sucker for this artwork. And I love, you know, Gyarados is one of my favorite Pokemon. And so Magikarp kind of goes along with that. This might be a hot take, but I think it's S tier. And I think I think that this set, Paldea, I think this set long term is going to be really appreciated looking back at uh, Scarlet and Violet. All right, next up we got 
another Charizard. And, oh, man. See, some people kind of dunked on this artwork as well. I, I liked it. I think it's okay. But, oh, man. I think it is, comparatively, it is weaker. I think this is kind of like C tier. But this could be borderline. Um, I I don't know. I think this is going to... This is this is gonna appreciate well I think so but as of now I, I gotta I gotta throw it in C tier all right now here we got the one sun and moon card I put in here big dog big dog card this is so expensive right now but this artwork is absolutely stunning so I'm gonna say I'm gonna, I want to put this S tier but I think it's gonna land A just because of the price everything else might be S honestly but the price holds it back too much for me and then, oh man, this is quite the, I did not expect this. I didn't like think about this or rehearse this at all. Now the Gengar. The Gengar, the artwork alone, I don't think I would S tier it, but probably A. But kind of with everything that's going on with Fusion Strike and where I think it might go, kind of the price of this card, I'm going to S tier it as well. Look at this little stair step we ended up making. So this is just just my impression. Let me know what you guys think, if if you guys agree or not. S tier, Giratina, Umbreon, Magikarp. I think that's the biggest surprise. And I put Gengar in S tier. These are these are A's. I, I honestly, I love these first two, the Charizard and the Lugia, a lot more than and then the Latios and Latias. But you know that is what it is. Um, and then I think these are pretty good cards right here. This one's so hard to pull. This one, you know, I could see this going A, but for me, I'm keeping it B. I think I agree with all this. And then C tier, you know, just comparatively, this this one could kind of come up maybe. It could be argued. And I, oh, I, I'm, I'm sticking with this Charizard at C. And the Miriam's clearly in D tier. I mean, it's really, it's kind of interesting that it ended up this way. Um... But yeah, that's kind of just my tier list for some PSA 10s. I, I tried to take everything into account when I was making it. Um, I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think. And if you thought this video was fun or, you, you know, um, just hit the like button. I, if you guys could subscribe, I would, it would really mean a lot to me. Um, I enjoy making these videos. I'm trying to do like, trying to do them daily, do shorts as well. So I really appreciate you guys coming and checking it out. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.